what's in my purse? <laughs> this has been a really popular tag video for the last couple speakers and I love watching them and so I figured I would do my very first one. This is going to be a part one of two parts. This is going to be what's in my purse and my next video will be how to organize your purse because right now my purse is a little bit on the messy side and it used to be really organized and I want to get back to that. I kept it organized like this for about two years and then it kind of fell apart in the last six months or so after moving and because I don't have a job or anything right now, I'm basically just sitting at home and not using my purse. So when I do need something in my purse, I just kind of throw it back in and I'm super lazy about it. So I'm going back to school on Monday the 12th, I think. So I really need to get my life organized before that happens. So I want to do this video and hopefully help you guys out as well. So this is probably a year old now and it's from Target. It's one, no, no, it's not Target. It's apartment, not, wait, who are you? What are you? Yeah, you're apartment nine. So this is from Kohl's, um, or at least I got it at Kohl's. They had a couple of different color options. They had this kind of pale tan color and neon yellow. They had a black and bright pink, and they had a brown and orange, I want to say. I got it on clearance, so it was only like $30 or so, but my main complaint is that it didn't hold up as well as I thought it would. I would have gone and picked a different purse that was more if I had known that even though this one had a pretty high price tag to begin with, I think it was like $120, $100 to begin with, um, it's falling apart. Like this is after a year of light duty use and I need a new one already. So let's just dig right in. And I did take out a couple of receipts and some gum wrappers, but other than that, that's really what was in here. First things first is my wallet. This is Kenneth Cole Reaction, and I got this at my very, very best friend in probably 2008 or 2009 at a Ross for like $16, I think. It is dark purple and so soft. It's like the softest leather, faux leather type of thing in the world. This has held up so well that I don't, I'm not even considering getting a new one yet because even though it's ridiculously old, it's held up so well. So. Yep, not going to show you on the inside. Next, I have my little grocery store notebook. And in this notebook, I keep all my grocery store lists for um, just like the general grocery store, the Dollar Tree, and a few other places that I haven't actually put the tabs on for yet. Um, I keep all my lists in here so that I can look back at the lists from the previous time I went and see if I missed anything that I still need to pick up. And I also, in the front, write down... Um, prices of things so that I can shop the best prices like I found out this way through recording a few days of this that um, it's way cheaper to buy three cartons of lactose free milk at Costco than it is to just buy them when I need them so even if they go bad it's still cheaper to do the Costco thing so then I have a receipt from Food Max which I need to enter into my spreadsheet Next, I have my prescription sunglasses. I do wear prescription glasses. I'm just not wearing them for this video because they were really bad glare on them. These are from Zini Optical, and I love them. They're like kind of Ray-Ban things. And yeah, I'll show you, I guess. Yep, they're just, my eyes are crooked, so my ears are crooked, so they're crooked all the time. Eh, whatever. Love them, though, and I have to wear them when I'm driving because otherwise I can't see. I get really bad, um, like, star explosions of light. Um, when I'm out and about, so I have to have a special anti-glare coating on everything to kind of reduce that, and I have to wear sunglasses. Dollar Tree receipt. I did a, I did a haul. If you're interested, I'll link the video below. Anti-itch cream, because I've had a rash for three years, and I'm still trying to figure out what it is. I'm working with a dermatologist. We've, I've been seeing him for like six weeks now, and we still have no idea what it is. Tape. Like a full roll of tape. It was the holidays. This is still in here from Wrapping Presents. Yeah, it wound up in my purse because I had to mail one and, yeah, okay, I'll just, yeah. Next is another little notebook. This one has an expired coupon on it and a Christmas lift gift list on the front. This is my everything notebook for if I need to write anything down while I'm out and about. If this is post ideas, video ideas, prices of things, um, general ideas, to-do lists, phone numbers, whatever, I write it in here. I have two nail files, and I don't know why I have two nail files. I should really only have one, but eh. This is a fuel rewards card for Shell, which I had never used, but I signed up for it, so figured I'd keep it in my purse. Then I have another 
grocery list before I started the notebook program with lipstick on it. Next is my little tiny handy dandy mirror from my best friend's wedding. She had it engraved for me. It says Sarah and the day that they got married, which was August 2012. I helped plan her wedding and was her maid of honor and it was so fun. I have a day parking pass for my college because I had to go to an orientation thing. And these are two copies of my resume folded up into a little ball because uh, they didn't print right. Kleenex for lipstick. In the little front pocket thing I have Kate Moss 103, which is uh, one of my day-to-day -day matte lipsticks. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a dusty mauve color. And then I have Elf Rich Raspberry, which is my absolute everyday color. I wear this every day, everywhere I go, grocery stores, shopping, dinner, whatever, lunch. This is what I wear. Breath mints. This one is NYC Expert Last Lipstick in Sugar Plum. This I got sent by Influencer, and I am actually really in love with it. It wears really nicely, and even though it's frosty, it's not too frosty, so I think I'm going to pick up a couple more colors of this from this line soon. Then I have a spare house key, because I forget my keys often, so that's some, that's a lesson that was hard learned, is to keep a spare house key, or a spare car key, if that's, I, I used to lock myself out of my car like every fucking day, so now it's more of a house issue, so I keep this with me. And then a little inner zipper compartment, which we all know what's going to be in here. Feminine products. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's interesting. And then I have gift cards. Why do I have these in that pocket and not in my wallet? I don't know. I have two $5 Pete's coffee gift cards. I have no idea what's left on this. I don't think there's anything left on this, but this was a $50 um, Safeway Vons Market gift card. And then a $6.80 Starbucks card. Then, yep, tampons, pads, that type of a thing. And then the last thing in my purse is this bag, which I just got for Christmas from my aunt and cousin. It says we are all made of stars, and it's from Math and Body Works. And inside, I have my EOS lip balm in the red color. I don't know what flavor this is. I have a baby bottle of aspirin and Aleve and ibuprofen all mixed into one little bottle which I actually really need to refill. I have the Vaseline Healthy Hand and Nail Hand Lotion. It's almost empty, I just need to finish it up. I have another almost empty hand lotion. This is the Eucerin Skin Calming Lotion. This is a lot thicker, but it doesn't smell like that one does. That one has a heavy scent, this one doesn't. I have a mirror from Sephora. A fingertip band-aid because I get really bad hangnails and also because when Zora broke her leg she bit my nail and broke it in half and it's still growing out and so I keep one of these in my purse at all times for the day that it winds up falling off because I know it's gonna fall off. I have a mini deodorant which actually broke which is really fucking annoying. Ugh. So I need to buy another one of these. I have my CoverGirl Outlast lip stain in 427. I don't think they have a name, but I love this one. I wear this all, all, all the time. Why are you mowing your lawn? It's like fucking two o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. Shouldn't you be at work? Go away. So I love this. It's my kind of my everyday color. It's more of like a brownie color and it looks really natural because it's a stain. You really can't tell you're wearing lipstick if you wear these. And then last is my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in 55 SPF. I hate this stuff, but I have so many of them that I have to use up that I just kind of keep throwing them in my purse and I use them when I go on drives. I recently moved away from like my siblings and stuff and I'm an hour away from my parents. So I drive long distances often and if you're driving in the daytime, you need to put sunscreen on your arms and your face. So I always keep this in my purse for those occasions. There's also usually one in my center console and in my door. 